Hey guys, welcome back to Jason Jody Builds. So we're not in the shop today. <laughs> we're sitting in the house. Um, I guess uh, a lot of you guys that watch the channel saw that we weren't, uh, we didn't put a video up last week. We uh, were actually on a vacation the week before and on the way home, we, uh, uh, one of the girls started getting sick, feeling kind of bad. And uh, so we got home, we tested her and she ended up having COVID. And the next day, my other daughter tested positive for COVID. So two days later, I tested positive for COVID. And uh, so somehow Joni has, it's, it's bypassed her. So we're, we're all good. Uh, I, me and Joni had taken the vaccine. I'm, I'm not gonna get on any soapbox here, but uh, maybe that helped lessen some of the symptoms. So, uh, anyways, uh, we're we're doing good. I just Joni doesn't want me out there in the shop sanding on anything since you know COVID will mess with your lungs, I guess. But uh, but me, I've got to keep moving, and this actually gave me a really good opportunity to come in here and uh, do some work and to and some design on my ashtray uh, design I was telling you guys about. Uh, I kind of hinted uh, a few weeks ago and I wanted to do it because uh, I bought my oldest daughter a uh, 3D printer that uh, I think she'll have fun with, uh, but I haven't had the opportunity to learn how to use it or learn how to use the software that you need to be able to draw stuff in 3D. Uh, at work, we use a program called AutoCAD, and I usually draw in 2D. Basically, you draw like on a sheet of paper. With the SolidWorks program, you draw in 3D, so it's you extrude from a, a solid. So it's a little bit more uh, in depth, and I've really had to had to teach myself. So the last three days, I couldn't really do anything else. So I sat in here and kind of beat my head against the wall a little bit, but but I've about got it figured out. All right, guys, so all that said, this is what, uh, what we're going to be working on today and show you guys how I've, what I've come up with. And, um, but it's a USB 3.0 quick charge socket. It's a dual port. It's got a uh, digital readout for like a voltage. It's got a voltage meter in it, basically. So you won't see it unless you open the, the ashtray, but it's, it's kind of a cool feature. And they're relatively inexpensive. So I wanted a nice, clean way of putting this inside my ashtray. And after talking to some of you guys, I think uh, some of you would like the same, the same product if it was available. I haven't seen any. I wanted to, to design one. So that's what I've sat in here and done for the last three days is designed an insert that will go in my ashtray. Unfortunately, I found out after I was all happy and I felt like I could print a bunch of these and you know if you guys want one, you know, we can come up with a price that's fair and send them to you, but 66 and 67, I don't know this for a fact. This is just what I found so far. Looks like this. I have a 66 Bronco. Uh, I think 68 and up has got a tab. I believe it's the release tab. For removing the ashtray so I have a buddy that's supposed to be bringing me his ashtray and I'll have to either modify this one or I'll have to make two different inserts one for the 68 up and one for a 66 67 but the only modification you'll have to do to your ashtray is bend this tab down I can't see it basically it's a cigarette holder I didn't want to just pull it out you know in the event that um, one day this Bronco goes to somebody else and or you guys just don't want to modify your your ashtray you just bend it down you can bend it right back up it won't break off but we will end up drilling one hole and put a grommet in it so we can run our wires through it but other than that there's no other modification so I'll get Joni to come around here and we'll uh, I'll show you kind of how I how I started this how I started drawing this I won't spend a whole lot of time. I don't want you guys to leave. Oh, and by the way, before we get any further, um, Joni noticed, you know, we're, we're trying to grow grow the channel and it's it's doing well, but was it 67%? I don't know, it was like 60 something percent. 
Yeah, I think over 65% of the people that watch our channel, which which is growing, which is great, are unsubscribed. <laughs> so I don't... Y'all, y'all hit the subscribe button. Help us out to help our channel grow a little bit. We it doesn't cost it. anything. It's it's totally free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. If you don't, if you guys don't mind, hit that subscribe button and help us out. Anyway, so we'll I'll show you kind of how this all started. Okay, guys. So this is SolidWorks, and this is my part that I find my final design. So it it works very well. You can tell that I've I lightened it up as much as possible. So. It would reduce the printing time and uh, I have little bosses this keeps it snapped in place so it doesn't try to pop out because the first one took what like 11 hours to print yeah <laughs> my first design did take 11 hours and I'll, I'll show you that here in just a second it I, I didn't know so I've I spent a lot of time messing with this anyway so this is SolidWorks and I, I'm not gonna go through a tutorial but it's a it's a handy tool or building whatever you want to do. All right, so this is our Anycubic Viper 3D printer. So we got this printer from GL Robotics in Dothan, Alabama. Um, the owners, uh, Greg and Laurie, are good friends of mine. They've been in this business for quite some time now, and uh, he, uh, we just got talking about it one day and sold me one. I've been waiting to use it, waiting to show Presley how to use it. And it's a great machine. It's uh, got a self-leveling uh, bed, which is real important, I hear. I can't tell you, because I am not an expert. I'm still learning, so I'm not even gonna, I don't even want to try to do a tutorial. This thing spits out hot plastic and it makes parts. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, uh, Look him up. I'll put his information on the screen. They sell all over the country. He can get you whatever you need. And the thing about uh, their company is when you call with a question, he's going to sit and he's going to take the time with you. You know, it's, it's the customer service and that's where they're driven. So, uh, like I said, you know, they're great people, great company. Uh, if you're even thinking about this, look them up. So, uh, just quickly, uh, I should have playing in the background. Uh, I tried to get some video me printing this last part, but I want to kind of show you my evolution <laughs> of the of the design. So this was my first uh, my first try. Uh, I didn't know which way I was supposed to orient it on the print bed. So, anyways, it automatically developed this support structure to support this top edge. So it printed it really pretty, but I couldn't get it out. I couldn't break all this honeycomb out. And you see what a mess I had here. So, And that was 10 hours of printing. <laughs> I put a little thumb hole in here because my little switch has got a little dust cover. And, you know, I'm trying to get fancy now. Well, then I printed it too wide. You can tell I had to take a Dremel to it. And then my legs weren't right. This worked out really good until I found out this dimension, my width dimension, was about uh, one tenth of an inch too wide, and my ashtray wouldn't slide in and out of the out of the holder like it was supposed to. So that leads us to our final design, which is this here. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I know it's kind of lackluster, but it works so good and. These little bosses I put on the edge, this helps it snap into the into the ashtray when you push it down in there. I don't have any extra material. I tried to really thin it out anywhere I could. It's nice and hollow. Uh, I recessed it where the uh, the dust cover sits so it doesn't try to you know push on it any kind of weird way. So anyways, it, it looks really nice. Let me show you. So with our port installed, let's see. Okay, so it's just got the nut that holds the, the socket in. So we have plenty of room for our wire terminals to go on. Our wires can come out through it. We just tighten that down. 
And then this handy dust cover for, for you guys that like uh, mudding and really getting off road, it'll be protected and you can still see your voltage reading through the, it's kind of an opaque uh, cover there. And this just goes in. So it just snaps in. So it's nice and straight across the back. It's easy enough. It doesn't rattle. So and that's what I was more concerned with was this thing being in there and flopping around. So those little bosses I showed you actually push against uh, these ribs of the ashtray. So it, uh, it worked out great. So the only thing now is uh, I need to design one for the 68 up ashtray. We'll, uh, we'll walk out there to the shop real quick and stick this in the dash and to show you what it would look like actually <laughs> in operation. All right, so this is it guys. You can tell that it closes. We don't hit anything. You can get to the dust cover easy. Be easy to you know, charge your phone, your GPS, and then tuck it away and nobody knows anything different. So it's a small part done, but it is uh, it is moving forward. And this does just kind of rest my mind because I really have been thinking about that and that printer in there. I'm glad to finally use it. And uh, so hopefully I'll be back in the shop next week and get back on this thing because it's really it's bugging me not working getting back out here. So uh, you guys uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. You guys take care. Bye.